Mm. I'm making Kerolyn cod and coconut curry, a delicious dish packed full of the flavours of southern India. So I've got some onions that have just been sweating away gently, starting to caramelise really nicely. That's going to add that lovely sweet depth to the curry. Now for the base and sauce, I'm just going to take some fresh tomatoes and then just really roughly chop these up because they're just going to go into a food processor with ginger and garlic to make the sauce. Then some ginger. Don't need to be too fancy with this, just roughly chopped because it's all going to get blitzed together. Or if you prefer, you could just grate the ginger. And then some garlic and they can just go in whole. Straight into the food processor. So lid on and then just blend to the smooth. Push down any errant bits of ginger and then blend again. So once you've got a smooth puree, that just goes straight into the pan. Stir it into the onions and then let that simmer away for about five or six minutes just until it starts to thicken up. So while the base simmers away, I'm just going to take the other tomatoes and then finely dice them to go over the top of the curry at the end. Now, you can be as fancy or as rustic as you like, but if it's for a garnish, I like to take the seeds out of the middle and then just finely chop the tomato flesh. So that's my tomato garnish done. That base is looking really nice now. So I can go in with some Kerala and curry paste. That's got all those really lovely South Indian flavours. You've got curry leaves, cardamom, coconut. I'm going to fry that out for a few minutes just to really release the flavour of those spices. So while that curry paste is frying off, I'm just going to take some lovely fresh coriander, chop that up ready to go in. And I'm going to save some back for garnish at the end. Chop that nice and finely. Stalks as well, they've got loads of flavour. I'm going to use some coconut cream, which as well as adding loads of flavour, is going to help to thicken the sauce. Stir that in. And then, because I'm using fish, some fish stock. So give that a quick mix. And then in with some fresh coriander. So stir everything together and then you want to cook it out just for a few minutes so that the coconut cream does its job and starts to thicken up the sauce. So the curry sauce has thickened up now and it smells really incredible, so fragrant. So just make sure it's all in one even layer and then take your cod and just lay it over the top of the sauce. And what's going to happen is the sauce is going to poach it from underneath and then you pop a lid on and it'll steam it on top to keep it really delicate. Just wash my hands. And then take all that chopped tomato and just scatter it all over the top. So then just cover it with a lid and fish that thick is going to take around four or five minutes to cook through. So after about four or five minutes, you're going to end up with this really fragrant curry sauce and beautifully steamed fish on top. And just to check it's cooked through, just take the tip of a knife and it should just flake away really easily. And then just simply serve it up with some fresh coriander, steamed basmati rice and some chutneys or pickles.